Hi guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to Perfume Vegas. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure that you like this video if you like it, hit the notification bell and subscribe before you go. Now, that's done. <laughs> I am doing a video today that was, um, I don't know if she started it, but I saw Joss Jane do this. I'm gonna link it below on her channel. And it was her favorite fragrances from her favorite houses. Um, I think favorite maybe is used a little bit loosely. We tend to gather a lot of perfume from um, perfume houses or perfume uh, brands that maybe they're not our favorites, but they're prolific and not as expensive, maybe. At least that's what I do sometimes. So just a little bit about my perfume buying habits. I don't like to spend a lot of money on one specific perfume house in a short span of time. Um, for instance, I have quite a few, I have more fragrances from Mugler and Guerlain than I do from any other house or brand, but all of those fragrances were purchased over the span of 10 to 15 years. So for smaller houses or niche houses, um, I may buy just one fragrance from the house and never come back to it again. It just depends on what they have that I'm interested in, what I'm able to purchase, what I'm looking to purchase, the type of scent that I'm wanting to purchase. Some houses I never go back to. I buy one thing and then I never buy from them again. It's not because they're bad, it's just that's the way I shop. And then I have a few um, like budget or just like designer inexpensive um, brands that I buy from fairly regularly because they're not that expensive and they have a constantly rotating selection of fragrances. So anyway, if you are now still interested after all of that, just keep watching. to see this video but the indie version you know what to do right okay because <laughs> I will definitely film that and it will probably be a lot harder to choose than this one so I have just written these down I own I only chose from fragrances I currently own not ones that I have owned or that I want just from what I currently own and I'm not going to bring out the bottles because I just there's too many so um, I'm gonna put pictures up depending on where you know one of these put a picture up but I think for the most part it, most of you will know these fragrances so I'm just going in alphabetical order because I have them organized that way and we'll start with Atelier Cologne I own about five or six fragrances from Atelier Cologne and the only reason I have so many is because I actually won a gift set from Atelier Cologne um, back in the day. So my favorite for a long time was Sud Magnolia. Like I absolutely love that scent. It's fresh, it's floral, it's perfect for most of the year. But ever since I got Cafe Tuberosa, I've found that I reach for that particular fragrance more often. So for Atelier Cologne, my favorite from the house is going to be Cafe Tuberosa. The second brand, Christian Dior. I have quite a few fragrances from Christian Dior. I have a lot of the Dior Addict line. I have some from the Maison Christian Dior um, Privé line. But my all-time favorite Christian Dior fragrance is Dior Addict. It's just, it's so good. And I've talked about this before in other videos, but it is a, a dupe, or it smells quite a lot like a vintage Urban Decay rollerball perfume oil called Sin. This was around in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, and they don't make it anymore. It's super hard to find, but Dior Addict is the closest fragrance to this on the market. Um, and I have a lot of scent memories attached to this. So even though I it's not the most expensive Dior fragrance I own. It's not the newest Dior fragrance I own. Dior Addict is my favorite Dior fragrance that I own. So number three from Givenchy. I have three fragrances from Givenchy and they're all 
loves. So let me not get this wrong. I have Ange de Mont, Le Secret Elixir. I have the Atelier de Givenchy Immortel Tribal. And I have Givenchy Poor Homme. And that's my favorite. It is. It just is. It has been for ages and it will continue to be until probably I can't get the fragrance anymore. I love that scent. Um, I actually really like a lot of Givenchy fragrances, but from what I own, Home is the best. It's right here, right? <laughs> from the House of Guerlain, I have so many Guerlain fragrances. I have quite a few that I want. I have quite a few that I've had and used up or had and sold. Um, I have several travels. I have a ton of sample sizes, Ugh, decants out the wazoo. All of these things. I love so many scents from Guerlain, but nothing will ever beat Angelique Noir for me. Um, I get more compliments with that fragrance than any other scent that I own. It's just such a beautiful scent. It makes me feel good. It makes me just feel just, it gives me like such a good feeling to wear the scent that it's always going to be a favorite. It's always going to be a top five type of fragrance in my wardrobe that I would have to have. Next, we have H&M. I actually have amassed several fragrances from H&M. Like I said, you know, these small, um, low, or not small, H&M's big, but they're um, low priced. They're constantly adding and removing scents from their offering. So it's easy to pick up things because they're cheap. They're not, you know, they're not breaking the bank and you can try different things. So I have several from H&M, but my favorite is Makassar Patchouli. I have talked about it quite often. Um, it's a beautiful patchouli scent. And I do always suggest that if you are a patchouli lover, you check it out because in my opinion, it definitely can rival some more expensive, like niche type of patchouli fragrances. From Joe, is that my cat? My cat was yelling. So from Joe Malone, I have three fragrances from Joe Malone right now. I have had more and there are some I want. This one was the only brand where I hesitated and almost listed a fragrance that I know that I want to buy, but I don't actually own. However, I didn't. If I had done that, if I had cheated that way, I would have said Pomegranate Noir, but I only own Pomegranate Noir in candle form right now. I don't have the perfume. So for the fragrances from Jo Malone that I do own, Wood Sage and Sea Salt is my favorite. It's just a very easy to wear scent. That's why it's one of their best sellers. And I think that it lasts pretty well for a Jo Malone fragrance. Um, that could be my own personal experience with it, but for me it lasts, I mean, it lasts a good deal longer than a lot of the other scents. So after Jo Malone, we have Mugler. And if you don't know that I'm gonna say Angel, who are you? Where'd you come from? How'd you get here? Welcome to my channel. Sit, stay a while. <laughs> Mugler Angel. It's definitely, it's, this is my favorite fragrance of all time. This is my signature scent. Um, this is the first fragrance I repurchased after I lost all of my fragrances to fire. And this is just the best scent. The best. The best. Maybe, you know, people, some people don't like it because it's sweet. Some people don't like it because it's kind of like, it was very trendy in the 90s. It's a little dated, they say. But I feel like that to say something is dated just because um, it was trendy at one point doesn't make sense. Because if that was the case, then all vintage scents wouldn't be vintage. They'd just be dated, you know. So to me, Angel's a modern classic and I will love it forever. Next is Police, the brand Police. I owned quite a few from this house because I did do a full video reviewing scents from it. I'll link it up here. Uh, I have slowly trickled 
them out. I've given away a few. Um, I've sold on a few, but I still have three that I own personally. Um, and of those three, my favorite remains Exotic Jungle Woman. This is just such a good scent. It's easy to wear. It's an easy reach. It works in the cold weather. I've been wearing it even though it's in the 40s and 50s right now. Um, and it works in the heat, the high heat, even in like the 100 degree temperatures. For me, it's a really great fragrance to have in my collection for its versatility. The next brand is Prada. I actually don't own a lot of Prada fragrances. I only have three. I have them all from the candy line and it, my favorite by far is Prada Candy Night. Like I have said this before, I think, I don't know if I said it in a video or if I just mentioned it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, it's down there. Um, but it has the same vibe. Prada Candy Night has a very similar vibe to Guerlain's Angelique Noir. Um, they don't smell the same, not really. Um, but there is something similar, like there is something about them that to me is a similar type of vibe. So I think that Prada Candy Night is a good alternative for daily wear or nightly wear if you don't want to wear during the day, if you want to save it for evenings. Um, so that if you have both, Guerlain Angelique Noir is of course quite expensive comparatively, so you could do it, use it that way. But that is my favorite. From Tom Ford, <laughs> despite how much I rag and bag on Tom Ford, I actually have quite a few Tom Ford fragrances. I don't own Black Orchid. I did have um, Velvet Orchid for some time. I actually like that scent, but I don't have it anymore. Um, Tom Ford Noir um, Poor home the original one um and then i have quite a f I have several from the private blend um my favorite from tom ford though is shanghai lily um it is discontinued but it has a sweetness that is very um very plummy asian type of fusion like fruits like um, Asiatic type of fruits like yuzu, plum, um, lychee, those type of things. It has like a rich kind of fruitiness, but then the sharp green floral of a lily. And the two together are kind of juxtaposed in the scent. You get a sweetness and a sharpness at the same time. But on me, or for me, in my nose, it smells very elevated. It smells extremely unique to most of Tom Ford's offerings. Um, there is some similarities with Plum Japanese that I've noticed, but in my opinion, Plum Japanese is a more crowd friendly. Um, if they're the same, if they're two sides of the same coin, Plum Japanese is the more crowd friendly side and Shanghai Lily is the more um, niche niche type of side. Both are beautiful, but Shanghai Lily is what I own and the one I love the most. Uh, they did come out in the same collection at the same time, so um, it's not a surprise that they are similar, somewhat similar. But yeah, Tom Ford Shanghai Lily is my favorite. It's probably my favorite Tom Ford, just in general. I mean, I lusted after it for years before I got a full bottle. And I mean, it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, Tom Ford, Shanghai Lily. And then the last one is Zara. So much like H&M, Zara is constantly revitalizing their fragrance offerings. And it's really easy to purchase things on sale or to even just pick up a full size at regular price because it's not baking, the, it's not breaking the bank. Um, I do want to go on to Zara and pick up some new fragrances. Just saying, but from what I own now, Lavender and Bergamot is my favorite. I've talked about it several times. It's a beautiful bedtime scent. I wear it at night all the time. This was a, um, marketed as men's fragrance, but I'm not sure why they would do that other than it was just a 
put it in one section or the other. There's nothing different. Like, it's literally just lavender and bergamot scent. So, there's no reason for it to be a gendered type of fragrance. Um, and it's so easy to wear. Beautiful lavender, not sweet. I don't like sweet lavender scents. So, yeah. That is the favorites of my favorites list for fragrances. If you want to see these in indie format, the indie fragrances are going to be so hard to do. So if you want to see that, I will do it, but I'm not going to do it if people don't ask. Like, I'm not going to say, oh man, you know, and then do it anyway. No. <laughs> So anyway, let me know how you like this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down and hit the notification bell so that you will know when a new video has arrived and make sure that if you haven't subscribed already, do so. Stay around, leave a comment, let's chat, get to know each other. I really like to have, a, have fun with you guys and talk and just enjoy perfumery, enjoy life. Like, come on. It's... 2020 is coming to an end like we need to like breathe and relax sometime right soon hopefully so hopefully we can do that soon and hopefully we can do it together if you subscribe okay see how I worked that in there <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one bye